and a lot of other people for very many years. I don't think that many people here have at all appreciated what we're trying to do. We all know the immense changes that have taken place in Africa in the last few years, and we're, of course, acutely conscious of them. But we're the first country in tropical Africa where the new nationalist movements have arrived in a country where there's a very large settled white population, many of them the third, fourth, and fifth generation, who built their homes there and have no other home, had their schooling there, and for the last 40 years have been granted internal self-government. And it's been a difficult matter making the necessary adjustments to meet the flood of the new Africa and to go on from a very fine economy that's been built up to a still better one and to convert from a country where there were a certain number of white people with very advanced Western standards meeting in the old days with a large number of Africans who were living under the old tribal authorities and systems and making the conversion to a non-racial state in which all people would have equal rights and all people would join in building the future Rhodesia. <laughs> 